Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon White, where idiocy is displayed at its best. I am Fuzzwuzz. Last time we got our second gym badge in the Uni region, in the Nat Green City, in Nat Green City. And there it is, the basic badge, we got it from Lenora, the gym leader, and outside of the gym, in the museum, Team Plasma stole a skull, in the name of Pokemon Liberation. They are hoping that a skull will help them in liberating Pokemon. How will that help you? Idiots, man, that's even going below, like, that's even worse than, uh, the logic Pokemon's used to. That's, like, nobody can understand that. I'm probably overreacting, but hopefully Team Plasma has a good enough reason to help me at least understand what they're doing, because stealing that skull will not help you in anything. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, here's a Swaddle, and these two people have Swaddle, and... After this double battle, we'll be uh, going into... We'll be uh, taking on Team Plasma, so yeah. Anyway, a uh, new Pokemon can capture in this area. Obviously, it's Swaddle over here. And you can capture another Bug-type Pokemon. Swaddle's Bug and Grass. Another Bug-type Pokemon can capture Venipede Bug Poison in the normal grass patches. Also. And uh, you can capture both their evolutions. The evolution of Swaddle is Swadloon. The evolution of Venipede is Whirlipede. You can capture them in the dark grass patches, and um, we saw Cottony and Petal before. Cottony you can capture in black, Petal in white. You can capture them in the normal patches of grass, and the evolutions of Cottony and Petal you can capture them in the shaking grass. And Whimsicott is the evolution for Cottony, and the evolution of Lilligant, the evolution of Petal is Lilligant, and. One more thing, the evolution of Pedov, Tranquil I think it's called, you can capture it in the dark gra grass patches, so that's cool. If you want to pick that up and go on ahead. And obviously Audino in the grass, the shaking grass, and a cool thing is, you can capture Panpour, Panseer, and Pansage in the shaking grass also. So if, if you're really desperate for a team member, then you can pick either one of those up, so... That's actually quite good for a lot of people because the you can evolve all of them in um, the area we're going up to next, Castilla City. Let me rephrase that. Not all of them, but you can evolve at least one of them, whichever one you choose. So that's really good. And healing up, and time to head on to Team Plasma. And don't even bother skipping any one, any one of these trainers because uh, you'll have to battle each and every one of them. All right. You stubborn brat, when I'm with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Oh, we'll see about that. And one thing I'm really, uh, not happy about is Team Plasma having electricity coming out of their logo and everything else they do, basically. Like, all the graphics or animations popping up. And let me just talk about Sandal first before I head on about that. Sandal is one heck of a Pokemon. I, uh, had intended to make it one of my team members, but after catching, uh, Sammy, which will be, who will be water and ground type when it evolves. I uh, won't be using Sandal because I'd rather not, not have uh, two Pokemon of the same type. Okay, and... What? What'd you say? I haven't got anything. Okay, yo, so basically we have to uh, look for the person who has the Dragon Skull stolen from the museum. And obviously the person who has Dragon Skull will be at the very end, so... Uh, we basically have to battle each and every Team Plasma member. And as I was saying, uh, Sandal is one heck of a Pokemon, and its ability, Moxie, is really helpful. I'll uh, talk more about that when you can actually capture Sandal, and that's not too far away from here, so uh, I'll talk about that like soon enough. And here's a big root. A big root increases the HP drained from moves like Absorb, Mega Drain, and Giga Drain. And I'm not sure if that applies for Leech Life also, but it might, or it might not, because Big Root sounds like something for a Grass-type move, and Leech Life is not a Grass-type move. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm not too happy about Team Plasma having electricity coming out of their logos and animations, because Team Plasma really is something for both Reshiram and Zekrom, the legendary Pokémon in uh, Pokémon White. Or black, or, or vice versa, actually. Both. They, they apply to both, and... 
using electricity it doesn't make any sense because it should be fire or or and electricity because when you're just using blue electricity it applies to Zekrom and not Reshiram and that was I could have made that into a very suggestive statement but uh, I just stopped but do you think I'm a type of girl who didn't carry a heavy load Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Ranger Forest has got a herd here, and I highly recommend for noobs or novice trainers. Novice trainers, really. Novice, uh, players, or new players of the game to pick up after, after, actually take on each and one of these rangers because they give off berries, which will help you out in the main journey, I guess. So, um, really battle them if you're in a desperate need of getting berries. Like status healing, status ailment berries, like that healing. Anyway, her dear, go bubble beam around my bad, go around. Yeah, I like adding a variety, cause I just hate spamming one attack over and over again when I'm not needed to. All right, what a huge mistake to lose a battle in Pinwheel Forest. Why? What's the big difference? Okay, whatever. Chesterberry. Or is alive, something changes every day, so it's fun to patrol. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that mossy rock over there, you can um, actually train your Eevee. And it'll evolve into a Leafeon over there. I'm pretty sure about that, so if you want to do that, that's obviously for the post game, you can go on ahead and do that. Because you can't catch. You can't catch or even transfer Pokemon from the previous generations into black and white, so that's for later on. And let's see your pulse effect wore off. No hidden items. All right, all right then. Uh, I'll be heading on over here. And it seems like we got an optional battle with this youngster. And of course, before that, I have to get into a wild Pokemon battle. Great. Okay. And time to take you on. And his first Pokemon is a Venipede. And there's a Venipede, the Pokemon I was talking about earlier. It actually evolves into one wicked Pokemon. Um, the evolution of Venipede is Whirlipede, and then it becomes a Skullipede later on. Skullipede's one heck of a Pokemon, but I probably will not be using it because... I actually was thinking about it, but I probably won't use it because... It's... It's, uh... Base stats are not that great for in-game use. But then again, any Pokemon can be used in-game, but I want to catch pretty good Pokemon. And, um, I actually have another, another, like, I have my entire team planned out almost, but I was thinking of getting Skullpeed, but th then I just stopped, because, I don't know, I find that overused a bit, and I just don't want to use that. But Sammy or Timples are overused also, so I guess, uh, I'm kind of wrong about that, but whatever. Let's talk about bigger and better things, I guess. Like Panzage! Yay, the three monkeys! We're seeing them again. Great. And we'll actually be battling uh, more monkeys for more rangers later on in the forest, so that's great. Oh man, sarcasm. Uh, oh man, Panzage, Pan4, Panzeer, they're spammed by everyone. Oh. I guess that's the main reason why they have these Pokemon, because they're special and stuff like that, and I guess a lot of trainers have them because they are special, because they're so alike, and they have different typings, and they're used in the first gym, and whatever. And why do you have to speak like that? That's so cliche. I mean, it's been there for previous generations also, but in this generation, stuff like that has been said over and over again, and I'm not a big fan of that, so yeah. And healing my Pokemon up with fresh water because I am way too lazy to go all the way back to the beginning of Pinwheel Forest and go heal by that nurse. Anyway, and cool little log there. I'll show you what we can do with that later on. I'm actually uh, really happy about that, that log. And yay, an optional battle. I guess I'll be showing the highlights. And what a big surprise. One of the monkeys. There's a Panpour. And I guess I'll be showing the highlights for each and every optional battle, or I at least have the option to, because I want to show the entire battle for mandatory trainers, and for optional battles, 
I'll most likely be showing the highlights. Anyway, you've made it this far. Yes, I have. And let's see, I'm guessing you have a Petrat. Just uh, a random guess. Um, hopefully you do, because I don't want to be wrong. One Pokemon, and a Petrat. Wonderful. Generic Pokemon. Why can't you have more of that, uh, flying... What's that called? Woobat. Why can't I have more of Woobat? That's a lot better than having Petrat, but... I guess uh, Team Rocket's got Raticate. But then again, Team Galactic never used Bidoof. And I'm really happy they did not, but I guess uh, they gotta use Petrats. I don't know why. Anyway, um, you go down, and I'm guessing you are the second last plasma battle thing. You're just here to buy time. Okay, we'll see uh, how much time you bought, because that was quite quick. And nope, no ranger over there. Let's see here. Dazzling Machine. I'll select four off. Okay. And there's a Paralyzed Eel. And having Hard Gold, Soul Silver is up. Uh, Dazzling Machine would really help out now, because all I have to do is tap the Dazzling Machine itself and not go to Register and choose which item I want to use, because that's kind of annoying to do over and over again. That's one thing I really like about Hard Gold and Soul Silver. The menu system was a lot better. And using Bubble Beam over here. Alright, and you're the last ranger, I'm guessing, because you've got a pants here, and we've already seen two other monkeys. Okay. Uh, bubble Beam again. And, um... Yeah, the dodging machine in this generation really sucks. It's too easy to, to find out which items where. And the one in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, was really, um... High-tech-ish, almost. This one just points to which direction you should go, and... I'm not a big fan of that. Anyway, down here, oh, a shaking grass spot, which I'm probably not gonna go to. Um, no need for getting into battles for no apparent reason. Okay, heading down. Dowsing machine. No, wow, nothing. And over here is TM86 Grass Knot. Grass Knot's actually, um,. A really good move for Pokemon that are heavy. Grass Knot's stronger against Pokemon that are heavier and, uh, are less, like, not as strong against Pokemon that's a light. Anyway. The last Plasma Battle. Great. Okay. A Pursuer? Aha, uh -huh, get a kid like you beat some of us. That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. Okay, let's see how much you can do. Plasma. Okay, um, this guy's got two Pokemon, and he's probably gonna have two Petrats, because I'm just guessing he's gonna have a, another Pokemon at the end. Probably a Sandile, because, you know, we've seen Sandile before, and it hasn't been used as much, and they're new, I guess, so I guess that's gonna be his ace, even though it's quite a bad ace, I guess. And I hate moves like Detect, because they stall time, and that's their only cause, and down goes Petrat in one Bubble Beam. Sammy is a beast. Uproar! What a great move at this point in the game. Definitely teaching Sammy Uproar. It's got 90 power, it's like Thrash, you use it over and over again. And over that time, no one can fall asleep, so I'm not really... I don't really care about that, so let's forget about that. I'll just uh, get rid of the round, because round's also a normal type move. And I'll most likely never encounter a time where uh, round will be more effective with its abilities, so forget about that. And detect. Oh man, why? It's stalling time! It's not like you even have, like, another move set up to, uh, affect... affect Sammy while you're using detect. I hate moves like that. Anyway, uproar. That's actually not that great of an idea, because his... I think his next Pokémon... Yep, it is Sandile, so... That really might not help me out, because I could have just used Bubble Beam and taken it out. Intimidate does not matter, because Uproar is a special move. Wow, another one at KO, never mind. That went great. We won't save the Pokémon. Well, whatever. Take your stupid skull. Well, okay, I'll take it. Even though I don't see why you needed it. Hopefully you can uh, actually give a good explanation. Okay. 
your king had. Who's your king? Will come true. Oh, who's this? A funny looking character. Are right, we holding up fellow subject of our king? Okay. Gorm? Seven sages. So, the Dragon Skull was supposed to be one of a legendary Pokemon, but I guess it's not. I guess uh, that's a good enough explanation, even though I don't see how, what you're going to do with that skull. Oh, sweet. Okay, why do you talk about bug Pokemon? I mean, I, I know you're the bug type gym leader, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, here comes Lenora. Big boss. Ha. Gormo Seven Sages gets his another Seven Sages with a liberated Pokemon with words alone, really. He's that powerful, huh? Full force. Oh, they're a little against us now. Hmm. What do you say? Know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. This time we shall retreat quickly. And it's getting a bit interesting right now. A lot more interesting, actually. It's getting more interesting by the second. Anyway, uh... I guess that's it for Team Plasma. Now that the music's back to its original self. This uh, music we heard back at the Dream Yard. And Burr goes away. And we'll meet him at Castelia. Let's see what Lenora does. Okay, giving back the Dragon Skull. Any gift? Any? Please? Please. Okay, great. A Moonstone that can help in evolving Munna into Musharna. Okay. We'll never be using that, so that's nice of you, but it's kind of useless. And heading on out over here. Um, Dazzling Machine. Nah, nothing. Okay. Miracle Seed. And we only have one of those. I should have lied to that girl over there and gotten mystic water to help out Sammy. Anyway, I'm heading down, and I can't get that, sadly. I'll just go heal, and I'll talk about stuff later on. And, uh, that concludes the intro introductory phase of the game. After this point, the game will actually get a lot more interesting. And I'm not just saying that about the part that's coming up, but the entire game itself will get a lot more interesting. And... Anyway, heading right over here, and I told you before, actually I didn't, um, we'll be coming back to the Pinwheel Forest, and this is the reason why, so that's for way later on, but we will definitely come back here. Anyway, strong Pokemon or fierce Pokemon, whatever, heading on up, that ought to do it for now. Next time on Pokemon White, we will be heading on to Castilla City. But first of all, we have to cross the Sky Arrow Bridge. Until then, everyone. <laughs>